Boom! What is up, guys? My name is Tim, and welcome back to... Oh, shit. Uh, Dynamite Explodes! And this is a little special I, I came up with. So, I, over the past couple weeks, I have been going to various retail stores and buying up clearance Christmas items. Now, not just any clearance Christmas item, of course. That would be rather silly. Although I did pick up some lights and shit that were, you know, really cheap. So, aces! But, as you can see on my hands already, <laughs> I got some real fucking shit. So, first off, I got these gloves, which are actually kind of neat. Um, they've got a little elf on them. Look at that thing. Ugh, it's kind of creepy. But you see, you put your hand in there and they turn into little mittens. So, I mean, incredibly creepy. Um, horrifyingly disgusting. And they got a little br br band. Uh, bleh. They got a little band here that ties onto this little knob here so it gets the things. There's also reindeer ones. So, there's that. This ornament here. I, I, mean, I, don't, I don't even know what this is. It's two geometric shapes. We got a, you know, a pentagon and a, and a, and a triangle. I couldn't think of the word for triangle. Anyway, yeah, so there's your ornament. Isn't that going to look beautiful on your tree? Oh, God, with all your other various, you know, mustache ornaments that you have going. <laughs> mustache ornament five dollars they wanted for this it's crazy i pay like a you know a dollar i think maybe probably even less than that 75 cents or so but a mustache a golden mustache to adorn your tree in glorious mustachiness how about a little dog what the hell is this thing it's so Covered in, I'm gonna have glitter everywhere for days, but it's got like this furry mane thing. It's got a giant jewel in its chest. Oh, it's just the. I mean, I will give it this. It will sparkle with all the jewels, you know, in the lights of the tree. But holy crap! Who thought this was an idea? Ah, oh, it looks like one of those fancy dancy. Uh, statues that really rich people have of that greyhound. Ugh. Except, you know, tacky and horrifying. Ugh, how much was this thing? $1.94. Well, I mean, at least they have, at least they know what they got going for them there. You know what I always want, though? Whenever I have my Christmas tree, I always get out the hedgehog. Or porcupine. Or whatever the Fuck the Woodland Lodge, but the, whatever the fuck this creature, get, 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 get this out of the way. Look at this thing. Look at it. What the hell is this? It's horrifying. It's got like pieces of tree branch sticking out of it. And this like fur shit is, oh, it's horrible to touch. Kind of glad I got gloves on, but then I realized all like, oh, my fingers touched it. Oh. Is terrible. It looks like a little mouse, but it's got like trees stuck in it. It was like in a, a horrifying accident or an explosion of some sort. Ugh. Fuck that. How about some antlers? So, right off the bat, you know, antlers aren't really, you know, a horrible thing to have on a Christmas tree as an ornament. Especially if you're a hunter. I can understand that. You like antlers. You like hunting deer. So you want to get a pair of them. Look on the tree. And that doesn't look half bad. And they got little bob bobbles, bells on them. So, you know, it's not a terrible thing, right? It's just antler ornaments. But here's my problem with these. It has a certain connotation around Christmas time. You know, with Santa and the eight tiny reindeer. So you want to represent you ripping off reindeer antlers from Santa's sleigh to hang on your tree. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's what we want. That's what we want. My problem, my biggest problem is whatever the fuck this thing is. 
I have no idea what this is. It's not an ornament. It, it says holiday time, and that's it. It says distributed by Walmart. Fantastic. Obviously, I got this from Walmart. It's a decoration only, not a toy. But what the hell kind of decoration is it? It's an antler stuck on a stick. It, it's an antler on a stick. I don't... Where are you supposed to put it? You put it in your pie or your cake? Well, they also got silver flavor, so... In case, you know, the regular antler is too much for you, you, you can really glitter it up with some silver. Ugh, just, it's just terrible thing. If you're not a fan of ripping off, you know, Rudolph's antler to use for your decorations around the house, well, why not rip off the Cookie Monster's leg and use it as a stocking? I mean, what the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> here kids here we killed the cookie monster ripped off his leg and we're gonna stub toys and treats in it for you mm, that sounds delicious mom oh and guess what we're having for christmas dinner that's right it's a cookie monster at least he'll be sweet all right with some bottles these were the best looking of these they had they had a whole bunch of these ornament ornaments left over and this was the best ones. They're all falling apart. They're filled with horrible things. And their faces are like barely. Look at this. The fairy's face is barely drawn on. They're just terrible. <laughs> Cheap little things. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. See. The, I don't understand. So most of these. The pipe cleaners around them. Were like completely torn off. And these were the best looking ones of the lot. But, like, the glue is super hard. Uh, I, some, obviously, some kids were going around fucking with them. As far as ornaments go, the, you know, the mustache was weird. The antlers are a little bit meh. But if you're a hunter, I could see the, the mushrooms being fine. And these things aren't... Whoop. And these things aren't absolutely horrible. They're a little cheap and... Whatever, but they're not terrible. This thing's fucking creepy as shit, though. And the mustache is super weird. But how about some Nell ornaments? Yeah. Good old Nell. Oh, you gotta love the Nell ornaments. Like, I, I, I get that the, the snowman's supposed to be the O, but it's white. So, <laughs> when I first saw these in the store, I just saw Nell. I was like, what the fuck is Nell? It's like, it's not even Neil. It's just Nell. <laughs> it's a nice little piece of plastic, though. It's a nice window. If you could just rip these things off and then put your own shit on here, maybe an actual O and so you can have Noel on your window. Yeah, it's whatever. You know what I want to do when I celebrate Christmas? I also want to celebrate the Mexican Day of the Dead. So... How about some Day of the Dead ornaments? <laughs> I mean, who thought this was a good idea? <laughs> we got pinatas. I mean, don't get me wrong. These will look really good on a tree. And I got glitter everywhere. All right, that's fun. So this is, this will look good on a tree. It'll sparkle and ice in the lights, but it's a pinata. I mean, is that really a thing? Do people put pinatas as ornaments up on their tree? I mean, maybe maybe because I'm not Hispanic, it's it's not a, If anyone out there is Hispanic, comment down below. Do you have pinatas on your tree? Because this just seems like you're catering to something that doesn't exist. Let alone the skull. Why would you put a skull on your Christmas tree? It's like symbolizing the Day of the Dead or Halloween or whatever. De los Muerte. Not Christmas. That doesn't scream Noel to me. Ugh. You know what I really like, though, about Christmas is the candies. You get lots of candies. Like these caramel clauses. Yeah, they're pretty good. They're, they're soft caramel and chocolatey shell. They're not terrible. They're decent. Halfway decent. Shut up. I'll get to you in a second. Or Twix Santas, you know, it's just another thing that you, you can have during Christmas time. Or, shut up, what did I tell you? We will get to you in a second, sir. 
But how about a minion marshmallow pop? Yeah. Yeah. This was sold in the store just like this. Yeah, and the other ones, the other ones weren't looking anywhere near as good. At least it's soft, so it's like it's 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 actually in date. But are the minions still a thing? I don't, I don't even know. This product is a choking hazard to children in ages four. So there you go. Uh, what else does it say on here? This dip, despicable me shit. Ingredients: sugar, corn syrup, water, sugar, sugar, dyes, colors. 150 calories. All right, what is it, what's it taste like, though? So it looks like absolute shit. But the real question is, how does it taste? All right, let's rip it. Oh, jeez. Packaging from hell. It's, all right, there we go. Oh, God, it's even more horrible out of the box. Oh, he just looked like he just got back from a bukkake. Oh, oh, and it's all, ew, it's all sticky. Oh, man, you have seen some shit, my friend. Some, or, well, the other thing. All right. Oh, oh, oh super, super sweet. Kind of, kind of horrible. Ah, no. Ugh. Ugh, that was n not good. That was not a, not a, not a, not a good thing. Well, in order to clean our palate, how about a pooping Santa? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's a pooping Santa. It's what I always wanted. Press down. Santa poops out a little red thing. He's supposed to make a sound too. He doesn't make a sound. He's a silent pooping Santa. Look at... It's just falling out of him. He's incontinent. Come on, Santa. Poop. Oh, yeah. Two at once. Yeah, get it all out there. There he goes. Now he's, now he's screaming. Did you get that? Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. How's the candy? Oh. Oh, God. So, at first it's just straight sugar. Then it's just horribleness. Ah, oh, let me get one of Let me get one of the green ones. Oh. Isn't that good? Santa, what have they done to you? Oh, get out of here. How about a reindeer? Yeah, it's a pooping reindeer. This one actually doesn't even work. See, his butt's all closed up. He won't poop for you. He won't poop for anyone. But his head comes off. And the candy falls out. But the, the great thing about this is every time you move it, it, it jingles at you. Listen. <laughs> it's been haunting my dreams ever since I picked it up in the store because it doesn't shut the fuck up. Ah, get out of here. It's still going. How about some flip -a -zoos? <laughs> This isn't specifically Christmas related, but I saw these and I couldn't help but laugh at them because, I mean, what the hell are these anyway? As you can see, they're $3.00. They were five dollars. Uh, I can't believe I paid three dollars for them. Ugh, it's terrible. I got things all over me. All right. So what are they? They're little creatures that flip, I guess. But the thing that gets me, what the hell is this one? Like I get this is like a, a golden, uh, uh, like a golden uh, tiger or something. Cause like they have this collect them all type shit, which is nobody nobody cares about. Look, you can collect them all there. All right, let's rip, rend, tear. Let's get into these things. Let's take a look, a closer look at what, what they are. Oh, God. Oh. Ew. Ew. Ow. Ah. 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 Oh. Okay. Um, they're really got this soft rubber goo on top of them. 
Oh my god. Oh, oh, we'll get back to that in a second. Alright, so there's 101 styles to collect. Uh, yeah, find the extremely rare ones. That's what everybody wants. Uh, uh, so what are they? Well, as you can see, there's a little lion. Then you flip his body around and he's a tiger. What the heck? And this is a pink at monkey? And you flip him. Oh, God, and he falls on the floor. A pink, you flip him around and he's a brown dog. All right, an orange tiger. Tony from, you know, they're great. And then it's a yellow monkey. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, look, I got more. Oh, God. Look, they're multiplying. <laughs> All right, so what else do we have? So we have a peach tiger and a pink elephant. So whatever the fuck this is, a turtle or something? I don't know what that is. It's a turtle and then a pink t and a purple tiger. The purple tigers. We got a moo cow. Nice little looking moo cow. I'll, I'll accept that. And then a decent looking lion. Why do these look like shit? So there you go. Those are the flip animals. What, what the hell are these even called? They're, they're the flip -a zoo The toy that flips for you. Over a hundred to collect. Each flipping into something new. Includes three flip -a zoos for six times the fun from J-Play. Yay! Go away. Oh, man. So if the severed foot of Cookie Monster wasn't enough, how about some severed polar bear heads? Look at this! They're straight up severed heads! Like, I think these are for your windows or something. They're gel clings, but their heads are separated from their bodies. They straight up cut off these polar bears' heads. Aren't they like endangered species or something? Rip, rend, sunder. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, and they're all icky, nasty, gooey things. Oh, man. Oh, and the head. All right, let's put your head back together. You can't even put his head back on. Poor Mr. Polar Bear. You're gone from our lives forever. Ugh. I mean, I get what they're going for here. Like, the polar bear's got a scarf thing going on. I guess you're supposed to put it closer together? No, because why wouldn't they have put it closer? To why wouldn't they make this one item? I, I just, I don't get this. I don't get this at all. It's it's a literally the severed head of a polar bear. I don't get it. I <laughs> just I don't I don't I don't understand. Well, we better calm down with a wind up toy train set. Duego de train conquerida. Ages three to plus. So you know, six pieces railroad locomotive trailer. It's a choking hazard. Nothing on the back. Women owned? Huh. I guess some women just got owned right there. Oh! Okay, alright. So we have some pieces. No, we don't have enough circle pieces. <laughs> how, do they, how do they sell you something where they don't include enough of the pieces for? No wonder nobody bought this. <laughs> They're missing a circle piece. Circle piece? Are you down here on the floor where you threw all the other trash? Hello? Circle piece? There's no circle piece. <laughs> that is absolutely hilarious. How could you how could you mess something up so bad? Uh, let's see how this would have ran if, you know, it actually had a piece to complete the toy. All right. Well, it runs decently enough. And off the desk into eternity. 
forever gone, never to return. That's about all the stuff that I got um, for this uh, Christmas clearance special. Oh, wait, one more thing. Body wash pens by Crayola. Yeah. So, what are these things? They're, they're body wash for kids that they can paint things on them. Uh, hold on, let me open these up. Oh, and they come in three flavors. <laughs> Don't eat them, kids. They're not yummy. So, as you can see, they're just like purple colored soap that you use in the bath. But it's like in a crayon shape, so, you know. You can, you know, write with them. Ugh. Oh, and it squeezes out the bottom. Oh, oh, it's everywhere. Oh, there's a purple. There's there, there's a blue one. Oh, look, he's flipping us off. Oh, look, he's flipping you off. It's a finger. Ugh. Ah, these things are so gross. I mean, it's just soap, but it's just... Ah, uh, it's weird when you, you can't wash it off right away. Here's a red one, which is more pink than red. Oh, 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 poop. There you go. That's, ah. Uh, and if, if that's not enough, they have full finger paint soap. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's super thick. Oh. Oh, oh, look at, ew. Oh my God, ew. Oh, oh, it's like actual finger paint. Oh, this is horrible, horrible, horrible. It's all sorts of words I can't pronounce right now. And there's, there's blue, there's a blue one. Right, let's see the blue one. Oh, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay. And in case you were wondering, yeah, of course there's a purple. There's got to be a purple one. <laughs> Why wouldn't there be a purple? And then you could combine them all for fun bath time extravaganza. You can make a poop color. Oh, God, it actually is like a poop color. Oh, is that that that's what your kids want, right? Oh god, let's just clear this out of the way so I don't get it all over the place. I need a bath. I need a I need a shower after all that. Oh god. Alright guys. Happy New Year. Oh god, the paint doesn't come off! Oh, it's disgusting. Oh.